So we just had some new updates from 3D Sen, which is that 3D NES emulator that I had done a video on about a week ago. And uh, we've got some additional support happening with it, as well as a special invite. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. This is Steve from Nostalgia, and let's get started. Okay, so we have moved on. We are now on beta six for 3D Sen. And with that comes a bunch of new games as well as a bunch of bug fixes. We now have access to some really fun games. One of them is in my top five games on the NES. We've got Ghosts and Goblins. We've got a port of Flappy Bird. We got Bomberman, Bubble Bobble, Galaga, Dig Dug, City Connection, and Super Bat Puncher, which is another homebrew game that they've actually got working as well. Now I was talking with the developer and he has said we are in an open beta and he's inviting anybody. So if you guys are at all interested in getting access to the beta version of this emulator, I'm going to leave links to this discord. You just have to join the discord, hop over to the 3D send dash beta section, and you should be able to grab them right from the pin post. So you'll be able to do this if you are a Windows user, Linux user, or Mac user. He's pretty much got all the bases covered. It doesn't matter what kind of operating system you are running, you can take part in this. This is a really good way to get your feet wet before you take the plunge because this is going to be a paid emulator. So this is a very nice way to be able to actually test it to see if it's something that you're interested in. Now, before I show you guys how to download this, I do want to mention, keep in mind, this is a beta program. So you are going to run into bugs. You are going to run into problems. Not all the games that they've got functioning right now work perfectly. There might be some artifacting. There may be some audio issues. There may be some rendering problems. So keep that in mind while you're going through this experience. Now, with all of this out of the way, I've already got the Beta 6 up and running. There are a couple of other things that they have included here, like the ability to toggle a full screen option. Now, you could have done that just by pressing Alt-Enter on your keyboard and it would toggle between full screen and a windowed screen, but it doesn't really matter. It is an option now. Now, all that you would need to do to get this installed, you would click on one of the corresponding files, depending on what your OS is. I'm Windows, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. It's gonna take you to a Dropbox link and then you just simply have to download that link. Now I've already done that, so I'm not going to, but it's really that simple. There's no installation whatsoever. You can go ahead and minimize it and what you're going to end up with is a folder and inside the folder is a standalone application. Like I said, there's no installation, nothing else that you need in terms of getting it running. You just gonna have to double click on the file. So once you double click on it, it's going to automatically load. As you can see, we are now up and running. Now, it is important to note, you do need to provide your own games. The emulator does not come with any games at all, only sets of instructions for the games in order to get it up and running. But as you can see over in the game section, we have access to a lot more games. They fixed the bug that I mentioned in the previous video where you had uh, page two and three, but they were replicated. Now we actually have a page two and a page three with different games. So that's really nice to see. As you can see, Bomberman, Bubble Bobble, we've got Dig Dug, City Connection is over here, and then of course we've got all of the other ones kind of scattered throughout. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys a little bit of gameplay, and uh, that's more or less it for the video. Feel free to sit back and relax and take a peek at what they've done with these games. And like I said, all the links to join the Discord and to get access to this are going to be in the description down below. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. Thank <laughs> you. 
And that's pretty much it for this video. Like I said, links in the description down below. Big shout out to the developer. He's done an incredible job and this is actually coming together quite nicely. Now leave me a comment down below and let me know if there's a specific NES game you would like to see working with this emulator. Other than that, give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you did not like it. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll talk to you guys again real soon.